Grey Worm and Masande tell Tyrion and his friend Varys that Daenerys dragons Rhaegal and Viserion have not been eating since she left Marine. Tyrion decides to free the two dragons from their chains and manages to do so by entertaining them. While Varys deals with the prostitute Valor who has been working with the sons of Harpy, Grey Worm and Masande wait with Tyrion. They do not share Tyrion's interest in games with Grey Worm. Before Tyrion can entertain them with a drinking game, Varys returns and reveals that the good masters of Astapor, the wise masters of Yunkai, and the free city of Belantis have been secretly aiding the sons of Harpy. While Grey Worm advocates attacking the cities, Masande advises against it because it would leave Marine undefended. Tyrion then proposes that Varys use his network of little birds to open contact with the leaders of these cities. Grey Worm is later present when Tyrion announces that he will be hosting the representatives of the three cities. He is visibly angered at Tyrion's political stratagem towards slavery. He is later present when the representatives of the three cities and is angered upon hearing Tyrion's proposal that they be allowed to continue slavery for the next seven years and be given compensation for the lost revenue. When a delegation of freedmen confront Tyrion, they demand Grey Worm and Masande's opinions. Both back Tyrion up publicly, but in private, berate him. Grey Worm warns Tyrion that the masters will never let them live in peace, as they see him as a mere weapon and Masande as another whore. Grey Worm and Masande are present when Tyrion and Varys decide hold an audience with Kinvara, the high priestess of the Red Temple at Volantis. To convince the Myronese that everything has been done with Daenerys' blessing, Tyrion forges an alliance with the Red Priestesses to preach to the masses that Danny is the prince that was promised. Later, Tyrion convinces a reluctant Grey Worm and Masande to drink wine to celebrate Marine's resurgence and to honor Danny. Grey Worm listens to Tyrion's joke but is unable to come up with his own. However, he is able to comment on Masande's amateurish attempt of a joke about two translators. As the others laugh in confusion, he reveals he was making up his own joke. Their bantering is interrupted by the sound of bombardment. Looking out of the ramparts, Grey Worm and the others see a large fleet pummeling Marine with trebuchets. They quickly realize that Astapor, Yunkai, and Volantis have broken their peace treaty. By nightfall, Tyrion admits that his diplomacy has failed and allows Grey a worm to take charge of the city's defenses. Outnumbered, Grey Worm proposes holding the pyramid instead of fighting the beaches. Shortly later, they hear movement on the roof and discover that Daenerys has returned on her dragon Drogon. Grey Worm and the Unsullied are present when Daenerys and Tyrion meet with three representatives from Astapor, Yunkai, and Volantis at the Great Pyramid to Pali. Belicho Pinanian, Razdal Mo Eraz, and Yezanzo Kagas offer to let Danny and Tyrion leave if they return Grey Worm, the rest of the Unsullied, and Masande to their proper owners to be sold to the highest bidder. Daenerys rejects their terms and demands that they surrender. When they refuse, she unleashes her three dragons on the slaver's fleet, wiping their ships out. In Danny's absence, Tyrion issues an ultimatum that one of the three masters must die for breaking his pact. Belicho and Razdal try to save their own skins by offering Yezan, saying he is a commoner and does not speak for them. However, Grey Worm instead slashes the throats of Belicho and Razdal. Tyrion spares the life of Yezan so that he can send a message to the slaver cities not to mess with Danny. Some time later, when Daenerys's massive Targaryen armada at last begins the voyage to Westeros, Grey Worm is seen commanding a ship of Unsullied and Dothraki, ready to take back the Seven Kingdoms for his queen.